Morning, welcome back. So, is it just me, or did the Attack on Titan finale leave everyone feeling depressed and depressed? I was hoping we get at least another part 6 of the third movie, part 4 finale, season 2.8 spin-off, but it's Jover for real, I guess. But you know what got me out of my sadness slump? A weird thing I saw on TikTok. If government not spying on us through phone, then how come it read mind? Not too long ago, the trend where people act like AI influencers was all over social media. Popularized by fellow Canadian, Montreal's own Pinky Doll. Well known for her animatronic-like hand gestures and phrases like, ice cream so good, and gang gang. Mmm, ice cream so good, gang gang. Everyone was jumping on the AI livestream train to make a few bucks and tips and gifts. Hey, I encourage people to get their bag. You can make money anywhere now. What was so appealing about these live streams was the high level of engagement and the fact you can actually control people's movements through the gifts you send. Kind of like you're playing a video game that costs money for every minute that passes. Think watching a live streamer, except the human streamer is a NPC with uncanny valley characteristics. Some people can play these roles so well, I think there might actually be NPCs living amongst us, like Starbucks baristas and my dentist. But with most things on the internet, in the span of only a month, the AI live streaming space became oversaturated and overcrowded. Like a Ticketmaster queue for Taylor Swift concert tickets, no one was gonna watch you if you didn't do something to stand out. That's when a user named Lady Bedazzled Hannah decided to cosplay as, not as an anime character that speaks in My Hero Academia accent, but as different ethnicities. And if you're wondering, yes yeah, she is. Welcome to an AI Asian lady character live stream. We will be appreciating and loving both Japanese and Chinese cultures. Thank you for the Ramon drink. This marble in the top makes it so much more fun. If you've been watching my channel for a while, anyone else getting deja vu circa London 2018? Okay, before jumping to any conclusions, maybe she's mixed? Like that accent she was trying to do. James, what was that? Thank you for the silk. It is so luxurious and it is so fine. Oh, that's not. Sometimes Asian features can be covered up by other genetics. I've seen the Hafus and Weijins in K-pop. You'll never know someone's complete genetic makeup unless you see the actual lab results in front of your face. Thankfully, Hannah, the ambiguous ethnicity that she is, decided to post hers for all of us to see. Lady Bedazzled Hannah is a full-blooded Caucasian American woman who believes in traditional conservative values. As stated on her Instagram bio, I personally feel like shopping transcends all political parties, but Sure. So what business does she have cosplaying as an Asian person, along with a handful of other races? According to her, she does these AI insert race live streams to appreciate different cultures. We have a very culturally aware individual here. I would not be confident enough to do this if I didn't have a deep and well-educated understanding of the ethnicity I'm roleplaying as. Thank you for the puppet. We like puppetry. It is most fun for our, our children. <laughs> what is this accent? Thank you so much for this compass. Some people are very directionally challenged and some other people are very well off. You never know. This way you should not get lost. That was not soothing. Did she say directionally challenged? That's an interesting... Yes. Based on this piece of content, I'm not sure she actually knows any Asian people. I'm thinking somewhere between 0 0.5 and 0. The 0 0.5 is the Asian acquaintance she spoke to once, so she can't be racist. Also, I'm pretty sure that not one Asian person would approve of this. The selection of emojis in the description is really weird and random. Like, a quarter of these things don't even belong. Why does she pick the yellow lady with the yellow hair? I know Rosé from Blackpink looks like a natural blonde, but sorry to burst her bubble, it's bleach. People find her content, to put it politely, literally insane. Hannah's response to any backlash or criticism she gets is usually along the lines of, Why? Do you hate cultures? Well, yes, but actually no. We don't like the fact that your Asian character has 55 accents, 55 stereotypes, and 55 ignorant statements about Asian people. If you're actually appreciating cultures like you say you are, why couldn't you even pick up the right ingredients for your East Asian cosplay? I've never had bubble tea in can form made by a tomato juice company. Thank you so much for the bubble tea. It is so refreshing. It is so good. 
Oh, miso soup. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the miso soup. And the sweet and sour chicken. Thank you ever so much for this. Oh my god. I'm worried about how many dents there are in that can. The ASMR tapping is not helping either. I really can't get past this accent. At one point, the European jeans take over and she becomes British for a full five seconds. Do you like your bubble tea? So this video is about 7 minutes long, and I couldn't bring myself to finish the rest. You get the gist of it though. With the rise of Asian media all over the world with, you know, K-pop, anime, and Jaffe, there's a lot of interest in East Asian culture in North America. And no matter how Koreaboo or Weeaboo you are, I've never seen a single person do something like this. And we should keep it that way. She's also done a Native American cosplay, with the full-on outfit and the indigenous Barbie on display while LARPing in the forest. The song she decided to flute lip sync to isn't even an indigenous song. Not that it would make it any better if she did play an indigenous song, just wanted to point out how weird that was. Yeah, this went exactly how you think it did when it first dropped. For some reason, she captioned this Native American throwback. Like, it was a fun weekend activity with the boys. Lucky for her, she could just turn back to normal after getting her TikTok views. I think this would be a great time to use the term cultural appropriation. Welcome to an AI Native American woman character live stream. Thank you so much for the syringe. Because of Native American inventions, people are able to stay healthy and well now. Huh? Okay, me when I lie. She's appreciating culture so much, she's making up facts to make everyone look better. So thoughtful. I'm really not sure who's watching these. Where did 31,000 likes come from? It's not my place to speak on how other races should feel. But I am assuming a lot of you feel like this. Welcome to Native TikTok's Auntie Fight Club. Pow pow, begin. Uh, last but not least, she finishes off with an... African lady AI livestream, her accent is gonna go through more character development than a 2000 episode anime series. Welcome to an AI African lady character livestream. Why, thank you for the crocodile. If you respect them, they will respect you. We have lots of them around here. You are most kind to send in this book about our country. Let me show it to you. It is. It is so, so fascinating. Like, look how awesome this is. She wasn't able to get a lot of props for her stereotypical view of an African person, so she resorts to just making stuff up, because who's gonna fact check her, right? Thank you for sending the cat scan. Let me scan your, your brain. Let me scan it. Hmm. It looks like it is actually quite well. Thank you for sending the skewered meat. Did you have any dinner? No, well, let me share it with you. Thank you for the, the Congo drums. We love our drums. Such unique and beautiful instruments. Oh, not the baby formula Congos. All that tapping in air is gonna make that baby so burpy. I really hate that the bar for my expectations of people is so low that I'm thinking, well, at least she didn't paint her skin a different color or pull her eyes back. Still, this is pretty bad. So genuinely curious, what's the inspiration for this? I think there is a lot of uniqueness and beauty in black culture, and I live around a large percentage of black people. Okay, but... Did you ask if they're okay with you cosplaying as them? Let's ask the audience. What do you guys think here? Because I'm not the only one affected. She definitely knows what she's doing. I'd say most of her views and comments are coming from people that are criticizing her. There's a form of content on the internet called rage baiting or rage farming, where someone will do or talk about something really controversial to create a lot of engagement on their content so they end up in the algorithm. Even if they don't believe the things that they're saying, it's a formula that does work to an extent. Her AI cosplays where she's pretending to be a race she's clearly not are some of her most viewed videos. Definitely feels like she's disguising her true intentions under the fact that she's not being aggressively racist, she's just showing her appreciation and love for different cultures. And if you're offended, she respectfully disagrees with your offense. Whatever that means. The NPC AI characters were pretending to be an Asian woman, a Native American woman, a German woman, an Irish woman, and... 
trying to remember. There's still more I would love to create, but what I wanted to, to make very clear to you guys, um, I don't understand why you think this, but you're entitled to your own opinions. I am not making fun of, I am not mocking, um, I am not insulting, I am not harming, I am not hurting. Um, those are not my goals, my intentions, my motives whatsoever. And a lot of you say that you're offended and that you're hurt and how this is wrong. And um, I, I respectfully disagree with you. That's a new one. When your actions hurt other people, just Uno reverse card and disagree with them. Works like a charm. But guys, she's done Irish, British, and German too. She's not only doing the minority groups in America. Hannah does stick to her roots, especially her Russian side. All 2% of it. Being a Russian boss lady is so exhausting. And I have an interview here very soon. Oh, golly. I love my cigarettes and I love my coffee. This is what your head should look like when you go into your kitchen to make dinner. I'm about to go make dinner right now for us. Because when it is covered, you don't have to worry about your hair falling into food. Anyway. Yeah, that 2% ain't gonna cut it these days. Just like Thanosiana Grande, she's collecting ethnicities like Infinity Stones. This is such a strange format of content as well. AI NPC livestream, plus ASMR, plus race change, plus grocery store haul, plus cosplay. All that's missing is Subway Surfers on the left and Netflix on the right. Really goes to show what our brain matter is gonna be like in the next 20 years. You know that meme that's like, a Victorian child would not survive a sip of McDonald's Sprite? This is the exact same. Give them a phone with Hannah's TikTok, they would be so overstimulated, they would need a one year nap after watching like three of these. There's a huge difference between appreciation and appropriation. If this was done respectfully, without the butchered Frankenstein accents, and not with items she just found laying around her house, then… Uh, no. No matter how much I think about it, this would definitely still be weirdo behavior. And we can't forget to include context. Lady Bedazzled Hannah doesn't have a great track record for being someone that celebrates all cultures. Some people could argue, maybe she's changed. Maybe these tweets are decades old and people just dug them up? Nope, these are very fresh and recent. Oh and look, a new unhinged take just dropped. She goes on a tangent where she claims people of color get special treatment because of the color of their skin and the usual, well, if they can do it, why can't I? Oh boy. All I'm gonna say is ditto to this comment. Wow, Han, this was a lot. And that was in response to Hannah showing her patriotism to her country. Not really sure what we're trying to prove here, but according to Hannah, it's just the tip of the iceberg. Speaking of icebergs, there's a Reddit iceberg of all the problematic things she's allegedly done in the past. And according to this list, we've only covered the things at the top. Not gonna lie, the dream job of being a cashier at Walmart, then fired from Walmart, has piqued my interest. But I was not prepared to do an entire deep dive today, maybe another time when I'm feeling a little goofy and crazy. For people who genuinely think Lady Bedazzled Hannah is just a lover of different cultures, you might want to find someone else to watch. That's the beauty of the internet, you got choices. So. So what did we learn today? When you see an AI cosplay of someone pretending to be another race that they are not, scroll past, put your phone down and do not engage. I've covered quite a handful of race changing situations and they're always very strange. Most of the time, it does stem from people looking for attention, no matter the cost because they will do anything. Then again, cleaning yourself up, posting videos of your face on a video sharing platform weekly could also be called attention seeking behavior. So who am I to judge? Actually, I automatically got permission to side eye this lady when she called a bag of tortillas egg rolls. Oh, these are so good. Thank you for the egg rolls. Speaking of food, if you enjoy cans of V8 brand bubble tea, chili miso soup, and this video you just watched, feed the YouTube algorithm one mmm ice cream so good by giving this video a like. How am I supposed to know if you like the topics I cover if you don't tell me? It's called being a good communicator. Your engagement lets me pop up on your recommended the next time I post. Have a good day, try not to be dumb, and see you in the next one.